Alright guys, hello, welcome to another Sights and Sounds video here in Costa Rica. Today we're in Playa del Coco, checking it out while it's raining here in the rainy season. This is October, late October, here in Coco. So a lot of people ask what's it like here in the rainy season. And hopefully this video will answer that for you. As you can see, the drainage wasn't a big consideration, but that's cool. Something you get used to with the roads getting flooded. It was just raining really hard. It kind of calmed down a bit by the time I got out here to film this video. You can see the water, you know, the roads get all mucky. Everybody slows down, traffic usually gets worse. So if this is your first time joining us here, we're in Playa del Coco in Costa Rica, Juan Acosta near the Liberia International Airport. To get here, you're gonna probably land in Liberia and drive 30 minutes or so, depending on traffic, weather, accidents. It's about 30 minutes to get down here. And it's a cool spot to spend your vacation. It's close to a lot of really nice beaches. And there's a lot of amenities here in Playa del Coco, like restaurants, shops, uh, grocery stores. There's more grocery stores opening. So you can see here, there's a bunch of restaurants here on the main strip. But Playa del Coco is a loud little town. It's not, it's not the super chill place like some towns uh, on the beach in Costa Rica. But there's a lot of those around here like Ocotal and Hermosa, Playa Panama. You can go to even more remote beaches here like Playa Iguanita, we've been there before. I'll link those uh, videos down below. There's a new restaurant right here, Pizza Hub. So now this is the intersection we're coming up to here where uh, the road runs down parallel with the beach. And it goes down to an area called Las Palmas. So that's where a lot of accommodations options are down at Las Palmas, this road right here. So if you're looking to short term rentals, that's probably the place you'll go. And there's a bunch of businesses and coffee shops down there. So now this is the beach area. If you're gonna be coming here, uh, to park, bring a bit of change because there are so-called parking attendants down here that will uh, hustle you for a bit of cash. And they can become quite irate, so I give them a couple bucks when I come down this far to park. And they are actually kind of useful if you're doing like a boat tour and your accommodations aren't very close. If you park your rental car or something here, you can tell them that you'll be back later. I would actually give them a bit of money in advance. so say watch my car I'll give you more later if you are leaving your car here and going off on a boat trip then they won't mess with your car here's a nice little coffee shop here and there's some restaurants down here and we've done other videos before where uh, if you head down that way there down to the right here you'll get more uh, more restaurants but you can see nobody comes out really when it's raining. Let's take a look at the water. See how it looks. The one thing about the rainy season is that uh, the rain washes all the sediment from the mountains down into the water. So the, a lot of the beaches will be less clear during this time. And we can I can see it already here. The water's brown. A couple of the other beaches around here, I think Okatal had red tide, so that's something to watch out for. If you come down to the beach and it, sm it smells, don't go in the water. Because sometimes the, uh, the, the water can get an infection, kind of so to say, and the water turns red. It's like a bacteria, so you don't want to be going in that when that's the case. You can see these people are fishing, so I'm assuming it's not red tide, it's just sediment that's pressed up. And it doesn't smell, so that's good. I can see fish jumping, so these people are trying to catch some fish. So if you come down here and you want to, uh, you want to fish, basically you can fish right from here, and you just look out, you look out along the, along the water, and you'll see the little fish jumping. When you see the little fish jumping, that's indicative that there's a big fish chasing them around. So then that's where you kind of just launch your your lure out. I've seen people catch some some good fish right off this uh, right off here. 
So down on that direction there, there's a new little uh, dock area. It's cool for photos. We've done videos there before. And that's Playa Coco in the rainy season. So again, it was just raining a lot harder. This is not as hard as it'll rain, not even close. When, uh, when it's really raining hard, you can maybe, the visibility would maybe be to that, to that dock there, maybe like a hundred meters or so. So thanks for joining. Be sure to subscribe right here on YouTube. Leave us a comment or request question. A lot of you guys are asking questions about your vacations. Please leave a comment down below for those questions. Thanks for joining. Hope to see you soon here. Bye now.